Yo 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 Yo, yo, can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Let me know. Yeah, wicked, good, good. Right, for, so for anyone that can't actually sit through this, that's not a problem. You know, you're going to get to watch it again. Don't worry. For any of the patrons and for any of the members, you guys can sit tight. Don't worry if you can't be here. It's going to be available for you guys. Just keep accessing the link, you know, and then later on, <coughs> excuse me, I'll be releasing it later on for the rest of the guys. You know, you guys get first access. You guys are the priority. And we like, you know, we can keep it nice. Keep it a nice environment, you know, because there are probably questions that you guys might want to ask, you know, and I haven't got a siphon through 150 comments in a split second. All right. So let's get this done. All right. Give me two more minutes and we then start get your pens and papers out but isn't it funny how bitcoin just completely smashed it oh my god projectionville that's what it is you know so many people have been doubting this strategy and it's frightening you know it's actually frightening that people were trying to you know they're trying to go against the herd you know and we are the minority here guys i'm telling you now we are the minority you know, but guys, this this strategy, this approach, all right, you have to be boss with it. There's no time to fuck about, you know. You've got to make sure that you take it seriously because let's assume that the market makers actually pick up on what is happening. You know, they can't change their whole business model just because of a small group. Now, even if we get to 100,000 or 500,000, even a million, okay, we're still a small group percentage in the whole game you know so just make sure you're aware of that guys 
I probably was beatboxing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look I don't just do 4x you know believe it or not guys like you know when I've obviously got different accounts and I'm trying something out with four with crypto you know, granted, I do take trades. I'll never let anyone know when I take a trade. But I have been trading, what, for the past six weeks in crypto. You know, so I've been riding out these projections all day, every day. You know? So. Morning, morning. How we doing? Montreal. How we doing, man? How we doing? All right, cool. Give me two more minutes and then we start. Okay, okay, what's good, what's good? Right, look, I'm not going to deny it, right? Let's just have a look at the crypto coins just for the start, all right? I mean, look, W formation played out, and I'm going to be talking about this. I'm going to do a video later on tonight to explain exactly what's going on, you know, so that you guys can refer back to it. It's going to be the textbook video helping you understand what, constitutes a w formation why did i agree well why did i know that this was the start of the first leg frankly you never know okay you never know when the start of the first leg is going to complete and form the rest of the pattern but when you consider the general consensus of psychology in the market ask yourself what is the market maker trying to do you know how long has he been buying for when does he want to see a return on his money all right these are the questions you need to ask yourself. You don't need to say to yourself, oh, where's the 50 day? Where's the 200 day? Because you're dismissing the whole idea behind the psychology. Address the psychology. What is it the market maker wants us traders to think? And then when we have that question, once we've established that, okay, we then can answer the question and say, right, what is it the market maker wants to do? You know, if he's trying to get us to believe that there's a short happening and the price is breaking down, we then say to ourselves, market makers buying. So at what point would he want to move price? And where does the pattern always appear? At the W, sorry, at the 50 day moving average, 200 day, 800 day. Look, it's in your face, black and white. Range daily high hit, perfect. Let's go to Bitcoin. I mean, shit, man, look at that. Look at that. How beautiful is that? You know? I mean, I'm just, I'm just, it's just amazing. Price projection last night, we said it five, what, what did we say? Wasn't it, fi yeah, 58635. Yeah, 58653. That's what we said last night. You know, it needs to go to that point. <laughs> Look where it's at. M5 in sight, 60K, I said it. You know, price projection zone 60K. Happy fucking days. Has it hit it? No, but it's just as fucking good. You know, it is just as good. Yes, it is a fast rise, but I tell you what, Redbeard, look, they've been building in such a long zone right here. Look at the size of this W. The reason why it's such a fast move is because they need to get the fuck out of this zone. Why? Because if they stay there any longer, traders are going to be like, okay, let's start dumping. And there's going to be a pressure from the retail traders to push price down. So the market maker needs to step in and get his money in good. I mean, look, later on, price will return back to here. You know, it will return back to here to regulate the market, to pull back. And then continuation to the upside. So what are we expecting? Rise, retrace, continuation. But the thing is, guys, if you notice last week, they made a move on the Saturday and then they just held the zone. Yeah? Go back to last Saturday, right? 
Have a look at what they did to price on last Saturday and then look what happens throughout the rest of the day. You know, they move it into the zone because they know where they want to set up price for the next week. Remember that, you know? Cool. All right, then. Let's look at Forex. Now, guys, listen. You can apply some of the concepts I'm going to discuss right now into cryptocurrency, but you can't scalp crypto, man. It's just too expensive to scalp. You can't. This is why I only scalp Forex. You know, it's just they've got so many fees involved. Before you make a move, you know, before you take a profit in crypto on a scalping point of view, you know, I mean, I, I don't know, man. That's why I don't trade on um, BitBuy, BitBoy, whatever it's called, um, Binance. I don't use it. I really don't. It's, it's just not appealing to me at all. I don't want to trade against the coin itself. I want to trade against the currency that is used to buy it. You know, that's why I do contracts for difference. Bitcoin against dollar, Ethereum against dollar. Yeah, Matt, how you doing, bro? Yeah, it's going to be slower in stocks. That's one thing you have to understand. It's going to be slower in stocks. But anyway, fuck it. Let's have a look at this. All right, let's have a look at... Um, let's have a look at Forex. So, all right then. How many have you got in the room? We've got 40 of you in the room. Oh, okay, hold on. A membership. Unlimited free trading, no fees. Femex, after a premium membership, 70 bucks, and limited free trading, no fees. Wow, really? PC Shed, don't worry about it, my man. How you doing, my friend? Fantastic results yesterday, bro. Guys, he's done it again. 48 trades in a row. That is something you want to vomit on, man. That is disgusting, you know? But um, PC Shed, you see the projections for Bitcoin. Look how it's just played out perfectly. And Ethereum, completely you know, and what I need you guys to understand is this. Later on, I'm going to be doing a video which is going to give you the breakdown of how this pattern has played out. Okay. So, let's see how we go. Two seconds. Let's get this stuff sorted out. Guys, give me two minutes. I'll be back. I just need to collect something. Two seconds, guys.
All right, guys. So sorry. Here we go. Right. Okay. I've just had a couple of guys to come and valet the car. So I've just got to see to those guys. All right, then. Cool. Are we ready? Are we ready? I need acknowledgement. Are we ready? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, then. So let's get into the depth of this, okay? Let's go down and look at the one minute time frame. Allow me to introduce to you the most treacherous part of the market, okay? This time frame does not take any prisoners. It doesn't care who you are, where you are, what you are, how much of it you have, okay? This thing here is brutal, all right? Now, why do I trade on the one minute time frame? The reason I trade on the one minute time frame is simple. It's a challenge. But more importantly, market makers lay their hands on the one minute time frame. That is where they do their business. Okay? It's where everything happens on the one minute time frame. You can see it looks easy to, you know, you can look at it and say, yeah, that looks like I can trade that thing. Yeah, no worries. Happy days. I'm good for that. But guys, listen, do not take this for granted. Okay? It's a serious platform. It's a serious time frame, and you guys will be challenged. Okay, I'm get, this is the hardest time frame to be trading on. The reason they tell you not to trade on it is because they say you can get blown out. That is very true. But more importantly, behind the scenes, you know, it's where the market makers lay their hand. All right. Now, the first thing that you have to agree to yourself with is this. Okay, there is no time to chop and change between trading strategies when you're on the one minute time frame, okay? So if you're a scalper, you're a scalper. You are not going to turn into a swing trader where whilst you're being a scalper. If you enter here, okay? If you enter here and then you ride it to here and then you come away from the charts and you see that you've actually, it's gone up and it continues to go up, you say to yourself, you know what, I'm going to hold it because it looks like it's going to keep going. No. You have to have the commitment. You are, you cannot deviate from the fact that you are scalping. Okay. Now, when I scalp, I'm probably scalping what? In a day, probably about 50, anything between 50 to 100 trades a day. Okay. Because I'm in and I'm out. I'm going to look to exploit these sort of moves, you know, bounce at the 50 day and the 200 day moving average, pull away, bang. Okay. That's my entry. Entries up here, exits down here, reassess. Look, wait for it, it's happened again. Drop, retrace, continuation, retrace, continuation. The basis of the one minute time frame, okay, in this term, in this strategy is you have to wait for the retrace, okay? Always wait for the retrace. The pattern, okay, which you see here, the pattern will always play out on the one minute time frame. It's despicable at how often it does, okay? So your first thing that you're going to do, guys, after we finish this session, is you're going to go over to the one minute time frame and you're going to draw the pattern. Draw the pattern. See how many times you can draw it. Okay? Get it done. Draw it as many times as possible. Okay? But what you need to understand as well also is this. Right. How can I put it to you? There are W's and there are M's okay that play out on the one minute time frame and you can see right here look at this okay you can see that all right bang up it goes but that's not always the case look at this pattern right here yeah drop rise Retrace. Continuation up. Look at how long that lasted. Okay. Do you understand when I say to you it's so important that you know you don't hold the trade too long? Look how long it lasted. The second point. Oops. The second point that I'm going to say to you guys. And you need to put this in your head. All right. 
when price pulls away from the 50 day moving average okay granted it will always try and come back okay it will always try and pull back all right the 50 day moving average is the baseline for you guys all right you don't care what's happening on the higher time frames i mean look what you can do is you can look at the five minute time frame and say right where are we so for example let's look at the start of the asian session here all right we'll go back to the asian session right here and we can see all right that as it opened it hit the low off the 50 day moving average and it's just continued to move away from the zone you know the 200 day moving average is a very strong indicator as well notice the cross 50 day crossing above the 200 day moving average wait for the first retrace which is right there up we go draw the pattern from the say little w right here Right, right there up we go rise out cross of the 50 day and the 200 day up it goes rise retrace continuation to the upside all right your profit target is going to be a short one guys and you have to be aware of that yeah are we still in the room have i still got everyone's attention Cool. Cool, cool, cool. God, God, man, you guys were quiet then, man. I thought I was just talking to myself. <laughs> wicked, wicked. Thierry, wicked. Nice one, brother. All right, cool. I'm locked in. Wicked. All right. So, first thing. All right. Remember, focus on the retrace. All right. When price, look, price is going to. This is what the good thing about um, the one minute time frame. All right. If price is riding the 200 day in a flat zone, stay away from it. All right. And do not, do not get clever and think you can start drawing ranges like this and trade the breakout from it. Don't. All right. You want these sort of trades. You want these trades that push away from the 50 day moving average. It's those sort of trades that you want. Okay. So an entry setup for you guys will be one of two things. You're either going to go short when it's pulling away from the 50 day moving average. All right. So you're looking at getting an entry up in this area. All right. Or you're looking to go long when it's pulled away completely from the 50 day and looking to go back. Your basis of the strategy is going in and out on the 50 day moving average on where price is, if it's above it or below it. It's always going to come back to it. Just pay attention. Look at what's happening. You know, notice here we go. Notice it pulls away from the 50 day moving average. Even if you miss this move, okay, you know, at some point it's going to come back to it. So it waits, it waits, it waits, forms a little bit of a pattern right here. Then look, green candle entry, ride it into the 50 day, take profit at the 50 day. If it shows strength, because look, rise, retrace continuation to the upside your next profit target will be the 200 day moving average okay do you understand that yeah again look pulls away from the 50 day moving average goes back into the 50 day okay look at how the moving averages fan out yeah notice how they come together they contract this setup right here is bloody huge this is the golden setup right here pay attention to it You've got, wait, you've got the 50 day, the 50 day, the 200 day and the 800 EMA all stacked together. When you see that guys, all right, wait for price to go above the 50 day or whether it's below the 50 day and make your entry. Look at the strength of that. The first pullback, watch, rise, retrace. If you miss this move, Wait for the retrace to happen as long as price, okay, doesn't break the 50 day moving average, you're good to go. But you will need to wait for candle confirmation. Candle confirmation is important in this, guys. All right, it is very important. Just look at this. Whenever you see a red candle selling off towards the 50 day moving average and it doesn't break it, 
that is a huge sign that things could change and go in the opposite direction. What you're looking for is the candle opposite to retrace it, whether it's a green, blue, or even if it's a white candle, okay? You want it to close higher, all right? Now, look at what happens here. Red candle fails to break the 50-day moving average. They still have intentions to send price higher. Green, blue candle steps in, moves out of the zone, rises up. Green candle, green candle. Red candle again, they're selling off. Blue candle comes and stops it. Up it goes, up it goes. Then it peaks, all right? Forms an M pattern. Can you see it? Can you see the M pattern? Or can you see the W? But what you've got to remember, when was the last time that it actually pulled back to the 200-day moving average? Because it's going to go to the 50. It goes to the 50-day more than it does to the 200-day. And just remember, if it's continuously riding the 50-day moving average and it's continuously rising up, all right, expect it to come back down. It needs to come back down. And look what happened. Can you see the pattern? Can you see the cycle? I want you to take a picture of this, guys. Wait till I finish. When I tell you to do it, do it. All right? Okay. You seeing the cycle? Yeah? Can you see it? Variation to the theme. Variation to the theme. Bitcoin hit it. Happy days. Projection complete. 60,000. Finished. Next projection, 70. Happy days. All right, then. Cool. Notice the M pattern, right? Stalling at the 50-day moving average. Okay? Breaks away from the 50-day. Drop. Retrace. Level 1. Drop. Retrace level two, drop, retrace level three, up it goes, okay? Now the cycles last, and the cycles are very short, and you have to be careful, guys. I'm serious. Be careful with the one-minute time frame. There's no fucking about in this time zone, all right? They mean business. They come back to a 50-day, they test it, they move off, happy days. If they come back and test it and they don't go through it, doesn't matter. You have to be so accepting of the idea that you have to you're allowed to be wrong that's what i'm trying to say you have to accept that you have to be ruthless with your entry and exit there's no time to hold a trade all right if you only risk in if you you know don't i'm not looking at anything else anything more than that i'm actually burning money all right if i'm not going to be at my screen i'm going to put it at 10 pips all right when i say i'm not going to be at my screen that's when i'm going to be going to make a cup of tea all right but other than that six pips is the maximum that you're going to set when you're trading forex all right now the reason why with crypto it's going to be difficult is because your stop has to be wider because it's more expensive you know but six pips is what i have all right now the next part the rsi how can we use the rsi now guys as i said to you again you have to be so careful with the one minute time frame and you know what i may seem like i'm trying to put you off the time frame itself but you need to understand it's so important that you are disciplined on the one minute time frame if you can hold discipline on the one minute time frame you've smashed it all day because you're having to make decisions continuously you have to accept you can go one direction or the next you have to accept that just because you know we may be in a rising trend on dollar yen for example all right, on the one minute time frame. Overall, the whole market might be dropping off, all right? But it doesn't matter to you because you're not in the trade long enough, you know? Granted, there's gonna be points in the chart where if you see price looks like it's appearing at the 50 day moving average on the 15 minute time frame, you're gonna wanna pay attention to that on the one minute time frame. Sniper, shit man. Why do you think I always talk about a sniper analogies? Why do you think I'm always talking about that? I've come to accept I have to I have to approach sniping. Sorry, I have to approach scalping as if I were a sniper. I'm a hawk. I'm sitting, waiting, waiting. I've got a bag of money behind me. I'm waiting to put it into the market. And when I put it in, I want to get paid. I'm looking for the kill shot, you know? And I said it before. Why do you think a sniper's gun is not automatic? All right? He always has to load it manually. Why? 
because he's only going to be taking one shot. He ain't going to be flipping, doing the Uzi motherfucker status where he's just hit and hope. He has to be calculated with his shot, you know? Go and Google what it re what is required for a sniper to hit his target, you know? What are the things that he are, that are up against, that he's up against? Wind, temperature, you know? He's got to be so still. You know, can he see the sight? Is it blood? There are so many things, all right? Likewise, it's exactly the same in trading. There are so many things that you need to consider, all right? But the same token, when you see the setup, you take it. There is no hesitation in the one minute time frame. That's the problem. I'm saying to you to be wary, all right? Make sure you're, you know, you're looking for the kill shot. But when you see an opportunity, take it. Don't let it pass. Take the shot. Deal with the loss afterwards. If you lose, come back to the drawing board and say, look, right, why was I wrong? Okay, I should have waited. X, Y, Z, done. Next trade. Next trade. How am I... How am I able to make 50 to 100 trades in one fucking sitting, right? Because I have no hesitation to forget the loss. At the end of the session, I'll say, right, how many trades have I got? Right, I've made 60 trades today. I've been successful on 51 of them. What were those trades that I was wrong on? You know? That's exactly how it needs to be. Now, the one minute time frame on the RSI, the same principle applies, okay? You've got to be sharp with it, okay? Let's look at this cycle that we've got here and in relation to the fit, to the RSI. The key factors of the RSI, right? Alone, you can simply trade the peaks from the volatility bands. You can trade those peaks. Exactly, PC Shed. You have no, there is no attachment. You can't be saying, right, you know, oh my God, I messed up. You know, oh, but what if it goes up now? Look at the swings, guys. Just look at how often she goes up and she goes down, you know? And look at how flat the zones are. You ideally really want to be trading the one minute time frame, all right? When you ideally want to trade it when it's the London session, the London session and the New York session. Anything after that, you're going to be getting into very treacherous environments, you know? Because it's very, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be quick with the dead on the one minute time frame, you know? So, on the RSI right here, there is a bit of a strategy that, well, there is a strategy that I use when I'm just not looking at price, you know? Exactly, MK is exactly that. The peaks on the 50-day moving average, oh, sorry, the peaks on the RSI, they are critical, all right? The peaks themselves happen frequently, but you have to respond to them accordingly. So what would be the criteria of the RSI? Here we go. Notice, price comes out the volatility band and it goes back in, all right? For you to deem it as an entry to the long, for the long side, all right? It would have to break away from the market baseline, sorry, the market signal line, the red line, okay? And your profit target in the first instance is going to be the market baseline. All right. So look, can you see price right there? Can you see that there? It starts it off and you, you're, you're effectively, no, right. I've done that wrong. Here we go. All right. You can see in this instance, right? So from this point here, all the way up to here, okay, the RSI comes out of the goes out the volatility band and it goes back in, okay. You wait for it to go back in, wait for it to cross the market signal, and then you can. There's two entries. Sorry, there's two profit zones: the market base or the next volatility band. All right. When it breaks the market base and then it hits the volatility band up here, all right, you do have the option as an advanced entry or advanced trade to ride that trade out. Because look, we would like to take advantage of these moves here, okay? So what you're looking for is you're always looking for the RSI to maintain itself above the signal line. Granted, look, it always goes up out the volatility, back inside, test the market signal line, comes around again. You can see how... 
how it's going to behave, all right? And then when it starts to top out, when it crosses over the red signal line, you're looking to get out. Look, you get out when it crosses the signal line. It's doing divergence right there. It's making a high, but the RSI is coming back in, okay? Let's see this. How significant is the wider trend from 15 to one hour? But look, when you're trading the 15 and the one hour, then, you know, that's significant. But because you're not trading, I mean, look, let me bring it to you into perspective. Here we go. So the general trend is moving up, yeah? You can see that trend is moving up. But these three candles here on the one minute time frame show a massive sell off. Do you understand? So the RSI is set at the following indicator properties. 21 day moving average RSI. You can change it. Okay. Play around with it. See what works for you. You know, you can you can change the squeeze alert. That's only if you have MT4. You know, because these I don't think these things exist on trading view. Okay. But you can play around with everything. You can even scalp down to the five minute time frame. If the one minute time frame is too much for you guys, all right? You can even scalp the five minute time frame, all right? Notice W formation, rising out, retrace, continuation to the upside. You can simply trade off the RSI alone. W formation, rise up, retrace, continuation. Your profit target is as price breaks out the volatility band and as it looks to come back in, that's when you exit, okay? Notice here again, rise out the volatility band, retrace W formation. It comes up and holds, okay? Look, doesn't last very long. Profit target, the way you're going to make the entry on this is when price comes up out of the RSI, sorry, comes up against the market signal line, okay? And then trades away from it, all right? Let's have a look again. Got to be careful. Look how it goes wrong here. Outside the volatility band, rises up, retrace, continuation up, goes to the next market, goes to the next volatility band. But look what happens here. It's a bit of a sharp move. You know, it's coming back to the 50 day. Just remember, right? Price is always going to revert back to the 50 day moving average. All right? So if you pay attention, look at this. See if you notice it. Price goes back to the volatility band on the RSI there. Yeah? Volatility band, RSI, okay? 50 day moving average. Let's go back again. Price goes back to the 50 day moving average, yeah? RSI coming down towards the volatility band. Yeah. Here we go. Price pulls away from the RSI. Sorry, price pulls away from the 50 day moving average. Forms a base. RSI brings price back to the 50 day moving average, back to the volatility band. I'll do it again. Price away from the moving average. Price comes away. Price looks to come back into the 50 day moving average. Volatility band. Price moves back there. RSI back at the volatility band. Are you guys seeing the power of this? Yeah? Are you seeing the power of when you merge these two concepts together? All right. Where you at? I know PC Shed's going to go for free for all with this. I know he's going to go free for all on that. Shark fin. Whenever you see a shark fin, you can simply trade off that. you got to be careful with it. There's the shark fin. Volatility. Right in. Up it goes. Even if we were to just take volatility only. Let's have a look. Volatility once again. Although that didn't come out the volatility band. Granted, price did still move away. Okay? So you got to be careful. Another. So you're only looking for the sharp Vs. If you're going to do that, it's the sharp Vs. Guy, look. I know it's a lot to take in. All right, which is why I'm not going to let this stream last very long because I want to try and condense as much of the information as possible in a short time frame so that when you guys are driving or you're just decide you've got 10 minutes spare, you've got whatever, you're waiting for something, you can sit and watch this video and go over and over and over again. All right, 
That's what I'm trying to achieve with this video. All right. Here you go. Look. Outside the volatility band, not too strong. There's not much of a move, right? Wait for the big spikes, all right? Even here, look. Look how they trap you. Outside the volatility band, the first instance right there. Retrace, continuation. But it's not outside. It's not. There's not that much strength to it. We missed the move right there, you know? How would we have known that that candle was going to appear? Well, we wouldn't have known. So how would we have been able to take advantage of it as an entry? Well, look. Price comes up to the fifth, comes away from the 50 day, it comes back into the 50 day. What is the RSI doing? Well, let's have a look. The RSI is it makes a high, pulls back. You can see there's an M formation right there. Can you see it? Can you see that? <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I bet it blows your ears off, man, when I cough. I'm so sorry. <coughs> Yep, wicked, wicked. Okay, notice here. M formation, RSI crosses over the signal line, okay? Price comes back to the 50-day moving average, all right? It hits the market baseline and then continues to go down to the volatility band, all right? Where was your entry on this? When price pulls away, as it approaches the 50-day moving average, wait for the RSI to break away from the market signal, okay? Right there. You can see it, right? When it breaks away from that make your entry, your stop loss is effectively the previous high. All right? Look how close it is. Okay? Ride it all the way to the baseline. Ride it down to the next volatility band. Happy days. Next trade. All right? And when you see this sort of behavior, guys, when it looks laggard and staggered, you're going to see that behavior on the RSI. You want the contractions of the volatility band. You know, here we go. Rise out. Touches the 200 day, pulls back down to the 50 day moving average. Entry would be there on the cross, ride it down to the signal line. There you go. That is enough. That is what? That's 11. Yeah, that's 11 pips, guys. And this is on the five minute time frame. That's 11 pips, 12 pips. That's enough. All right. Go down to the one minute time frame. Outside the volatility band, crosses over the RSI, drop down to the market baseline. Okay. Where's the market baseline point? Right there. Look at where price is. From that peak there, down to there, three pips. You have to be content. You have to be content with this, that you're only going to be taking small profits. If you're not happy with that, this stream is not for you. This strategy is not for you. You know? Outside the volatility band, small W formation. Price goes above the RSI signal. Up it goes. Trading it to the next volatility band. There's your entry. Exit, seven pips, all right? That's the critical part, all right? Questions? Okay, so the market signal, the signal line, this, this baseline is the RSI on the one hour time frame. This signifies the RSI on the one hour time frame. Okay. Signal line is a moving average. Okay. So here we go. Where is it? Trend signal line is the seven day moving average. Okay. Seven day moving average. All right. It's all moving averages, guys. RSI and the volatility bands and the market base, it's all moving averages. What we, Our goal is to try and take advantage of the fluctuations and how we can exploit that when price is at volatility, outside volatility. Yeah? What is that in terms of percentage? Um, in what sense? Uh, great question, Mark, um, MK. I'm just going to call you Mark, dude. You ideally want to see massive shark fins on the volatility bands. The bigger the shark fin, the better the chance for you to get in and ride down to the retrace to the 50-day. So let's find another one. I mean, look at that. Rise out the 50-day moving... Uh, so, sorry, the volatility band moves up. As it comes back in, your entry would be there, Okay. Pulls away from the 50-day moving average, comes back to the 50-day. So, so, look, 
pulls away from the 50 day, comes back and tests it, spikes the previous, the, the 50 day moving average, stalls, stalls, your entry is going to be on that crossover of the um, RSI onto the volatility, make your entry, riding it all the way down. When you ride it all the way down, you're coming towards the next volatility band. Mark, is it Mark? <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> As if the guy's called Mark. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. What I will say to you guys is this, right? Do not overthink this strategy. I'm doing my very hardest to make sure I just explain it to you in very simple terms. What percentage move is a pip? Oh, okay, do not see pips in crypto. You do see pips in crypto. Here's an example, all right? One pip. So if you notice... On the right side of the screen where you can see it's 108, 105. So here we go. When price is 108482, when it goes to 1484, that's a minus, that's a very that's just the smallest pip. Okay. When it goes to 4849, so when it goes to 49 from 48, that's one pip. One pip. All right, because pips work on 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1.6. Okay. So from 46 all the way through to 47, that's one pip. All right. Jump onto crypto. All right. Look how the size of one pip it is huge, which is why its average daily range is 1,309 pips. So it's going to travel 1,309 pips to determine its range. When you look at dollar yen, its average range is 66 pips. Okay? See how small they are. Granted, there's a lot more money to be made in cryptocurrency because it does these wild ass swings. Okay? That's why people trade crypto. And it is in simple detail. Yes, PC shirt. That's it. You know? This is why I say to you guys, look, this is why I trade Forex, you know, because I'm going to be riding like, I mean, look at this. Got a pattern formation up here on dollar yen. All right. Now, this move to the upside was, look at that. Yeah. Do you understand? I need to show you this. This is so important, right? Look at the power of the ADR. All right. From the low here, all the way up to the top there, okay, it's 74 pips. Granted, they can only move on an average of 66. That's not a problem, all right? They have to bring it back down into the zone. But the power, I mean, if we consider it, let's look at it from the start of the session, all right? Because I did it from yesterday's session, so it's a little bit longer, all right? If I start from the, pre, from the start of the Hong Kong session up there, Okay, and go all the way up to the top where we at. Is that not frightening? Do you understand the power of ADR now? All right. It's exactly at 66 pips before it moves back. All right. I've just took the open right there and I've gone all the way up to there. 66 pips. Its average daily range is 66 pips. So you are able to say to yourself, right, dollar yen has traveled 66 pips. Okay, I'm expecting a retrace right now back to the 50 day moving average. Look what happens. Okay. There are little things, guys, that you can add to your repertoire in trading that are going to make you consistent. This is why it fucks me off as to why people lose in this game. Because there are so many things out there in so many things on the platforms. And, you know, with due diligence, you just need to research it. Granted, I know when you're new, it's a little bit of a, you know, you, it's struggling to try and find a strategy or someone that's going to show you something, you know. And it's, and this is why I'm doing it, guys. This is why I'm doing these streams. Because I know when I was doing it, when I was trying to find this shit out. I was just, I was just trying everything, man. I wasn't taking it seriously. It is despicably scary. Look, the average daily range starting from the moment that candlestick right there. I pulled out 66 pips, man. What the fuck is that? 66, you know? How much has it traveled in the week? Well, let's look. We expect average daily range of 197 pips, all right? When's the start of this week? When was it? 
Um, let's go. The eighth. All right. Where are we at? The eighth. That's the ninth. Okay, here we go. So from that point there, okay, that was the start of the week. So from that point, oh, one hour back. I need to make it right. Here we go. So from that point there, all right, dollar yen normally travels 197 pips, which is ADR times three, all right? There we go. It's 99.3 pips. What does that say? It means it still needs to travel a little bit more. All right? Because it's coming out of a cycle. So it's risen up. So we are now expecting what? A rise to the upside. All right? So from this point, 66 pips up. It's completed it. Pull back. Another 66 pips up. Pull back. 66 pips up. ADR times three, 197 pips. For every level is an ADR. One level, one cycle. Rise, retrace. Level one is 66 pips. All right? Granted, it's going to be up and down. You can have 69 pips, 72 pips, 81 pips. But you can use that as a barometer for you to say, right, where is price in relation to the ADR? The ADR is the power. Okay? Now, the thing is with cryptocurrency, right, is... I don't know if they're acknowledging the ADR as much as they need to, okay? I don't know yet. I'm still, you know, testing it out. But you can see in crypto, in Forex, man, how they respect the ADR. The ADR is what the is what the IMF pretty much says to the market makers when it comes to the, you know, Forex. It says to them, look, don't mess the market up. Stick within a range so that you can induce people to, you know, so that you can create markets as such. Yes, hands up. Forex is easier to trade. I ain't going to get caught up in the fuckery of cryptocurrency. Nah, I ain't going to get caught up in it. I've been doing Forex for a long time. You know, Forex respects cycles. It respects levels, you know. Now, granted, I know some of you people can't get on the Forex game, which is it's so painful. All right. But I'm trying to get brokers that are going to facilitate you guys in the States. There is one alternative. All right. But I don't advise it. I really don't. There's a company called Traders Way. Now, Traders Way are not regulated. You are pretty much just giving money to some fucking strangers. All right? But they do provide a platform. So my advice is if you're going to trade on there, you basically, effectively, every 500 quid you make, you withdraw it. And be okay with the idea that they may or may not be giving it to you. I mean, go and Google Traders Way. Some people say it's great. Some people say they've had problems with it. But that's the only broker that will allow US citizens to trade Forex, you know? Here we go, Andy. I just signed up for Ananda last night and got MT4 and I live in the States. Boom, there you go, Ananda. Because that's the one that I re um, recommended last night. I recommended people go sign up to Ananda last night, you know? Happy days. If you can get it, then get on the MT4. If I can get you guys onto the, oh man, onto the MT4 status, man. Oh my days. <laughs> legit you looking for, are you looking for financial advice my dear friend canada as well i believe yeah canada as well are you looking for financial advice legit huh for an example for kiwi yen. i've just done it on dollar yen because dollar yen's gonna follow kiwi yen kiwi yen follows dollar yen you know so let's look at um let's look at kiwi yen Five days away from the peak formation. Wow. What am I looking at? M formation right there. Drop, rise, continuation to the downside. 800 day EMA would be the projected zone. 78 mark. That's what I'll be looking for with Kiwi Yen. So you look, rise, retrace, rise again, 
Doesn't take out the previous high. Look at how close they keep it. They can't free the money up there. They are not allowed to do it because they then free the liquidity. Continuation. Drop. Rise. Continuation. Level 1. Yeah? Level 1. Rise. Level 2. However, we can see an M pattern right there. So we're then left in limbo. What are we working out? Are we going to see another continuation to the upside? Five days away from the peak formation. It's only achieved 1.73 its ADR. What does that tell us? We are expecting another move to the upside. So our downtrend here is not valid. Okay, so we are now witnessing a change in price. Up. Retrace. Continuation to the upside. Drop. Another move to the upside. That's what we're waiting for. You know? Now, legit, I'm playing with you, bro, man. Don't worry. The cycles are the hardest thing to find, my friend. You know? The cycles are the hardest thing. If you are in America and you need to have an, uh, and you want to trade Forex, go to Ananda. If you're not in America or Canada, open an account with IC Markets. The link's in the description, okay? And aim for a, um, a raw account, right? ECN raw account. That's the, that's the account that I, that I have, okay? Yeah, you can do demo as well, all right? The cycles are the hardest thing. The way you determine a cycle is you say to yourself, right, price forms a peak formation. So when it does a W, okay, look at this W here. Legit, this is for you. Shit. Okay. One times ADR is one cycle. Yes, it accepts any country, yes. Besides UK, uh, US and Canada. One times ADR is a cycle. So look. 60. Don't make the mistake of thinking it has to hit 86. At least, at least two thirds of the way. As long as it achieves two thirds of the ADR, happy days. You're good to go. You know so rise up pulls back to the 50-day moving average level one you determine a level from the consolidation it has to be a good consolidation it has to pull back to a moving average and it has to find a little bit of balance in that zone okay rise level one yeah now in order for level two to be confirmed you need to break away from the previous high of level one so this right here is not level two why because it did break level one but it didn't continue up so we need to wait for level two all right so what are we waiting for breakout rise level two clean break to the upside all right so we've now found a level two right there then we move across we are now expecting one more move to the upside but look what they do they hold the zone all right so that means i'm now still expecting a rise to the upside right so from this W formation, rise, retrace, okay? That's level one, cycle one. Rise, retrace, that was level two. So level one is confirmed right here. We have now successfully confirmed level one, all right? Price has pulled away from it. Now it's pulled back. As long as it pulls back and stays above this zone here, we don't, we, you know, the, the zone is still valid. If it breaks below that zone, level one is, um, has been violated. So we are then looking for a new entry or should I say a new formation for a new cycle. But that's not what happened. Okay. So we got level two. What are we expecting? Another move to the upside. So we wait, we wait, we wait and look what happens. Level three forms rise up. And what do you see? Peak formation, M pattern, drop, retrace, level one, confirmed, level two, peak formation. It's gone straight into the peak formation right now. Expecting what? Another move to the upside. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Are we happy with that, guys? I'm going to end the stream right there. But are we happy with that? You know, 
because I don't want to keep, you know, filling in this stream with too much information. I want you guys to be able to go over it in a short period of time. Yeah, Ian, look, when you buy and sell, when you go long and when you go short, don't worry too much about, you know, what is actually happening with the purchase of it. When you buy, okay, if you buy and then go short, you're effectively creating a hedge. You're not going to win or lose, you know? You're going to probably just pay more on um, transaction fees, you know? Yeah, rewatch, take notes. Rewatch, take notes. That's what it is. Okay, so level, right, look, when you've got level one, okay, if price, if as it breaks away and forms level two, so when it breaks up to form level two and it cleans a level one, if price pulls all the way back down and takes out the previous consolidation zone of level one, it's a reset, okay? It's a reset. It invalidates the, um, the cycle to the upside. However, however, just because it takes out level one there doesn't mean that the peak formation is still not valid. It just means that there's a reset on the cycle. So we're then waiting for another move to the upside level one. Okay. All right. So this dashboard, okay, is I've not told anyone about it. Okay. But this is something that my, my uncle is a software engineer. Okay. And he created this. All right. And. It is a paid thing, and that's why I don't really want to be pushing that onto you guys. I want you guys to understand the cycles first, all right? But what this does is it gives you the AD, the real-time ADR, okay? And it tells you where... Right, I'll show you. I just... I, I just... I want to make sure you guys get it because... Here we go. Um... Oh, shit. How does it work now? Right, look. This is the g-dot-net setup as such, right? But it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tricky one, all right? What this does is... Okay. All right. So this platform here. Okay. So what it does is it effectively creates. Oh, hold on a second. Interest capitalization. Weeble Forex. dad a market maker no my dad isn't a market maker <laughs> excuse me um right so basically what this does here guys is it gives you the peak formations well how far price is away from the peak formation okay so you can see here from that peak formation it's five days from that zone all right I'm going to do a video. You know what? I'm going to do another video on this today just to explain it to you guys. I'm going to do another video on, on understanding how this works, okay? And then you guys can be the judge of it, all right? Because it is, 
it is a very intricate tool. It's a very intricate tool. And when you, you know, to simply just go on and just get this, it's, it's not going to work. You need to understand that there are so many more things behind this. Okay. And there's different versions of it as well. It's just, there's just so much to it. All right. But um, yeah, my uncle created this platform here. So he's done what? Well, it's got four and a half thousand lines of code. Okay. So don't, you know, if you go to the web, don't go to the website and buy it because don't do that yet because you guys are with me. Okay. So I'm going to obviously try and, you know, try and hook something up for you guys. All right. But don't get it yet because I need you to understand the cycle. All right. Because this is, this is just like statistics. It talks about the ADR here. All right. Yes, granted, it does tell you the peak formations and how far they are away from it. But you notice, look, five peak formation. All right. So basically, you could have entered on the print of that candle and rode all of that move to the upside. Okay. But it's not just that simple. All right. Because you're not swing traders, you know. So I'm going to do another video for you. All right. Check it out. What I'm going to do for you guys, all right, is I'm going to send you this. All right, then. Have you got this? I'm going to send you this link. I want to give you the discounts, guys. Yes. <laughs> That's the link right there. I'm going to attach it into the um, to the Discord. All right? Not the Discord. To the... To the um, shit, man. The description. Right. Now, don't access anything yet. Don't, don't, don't go and get any of this. Don't do it. Okay? Because I need to explain it to you guys, all right? This is for Forex, all right? It's only for Forex. I'm trying to get it so that it can work on crypto. This is what I'm waiting for. Because if it works on crypto, hands down, this will be the fattest edge in the game. Remember, this has done 4,000 lines of code to do it for Forex, right? I'm trying to get my uncle to set it up so that it's cryptocurrency, you know? Now, could you imagine if we could have the ADR, the correct ADR, the peak formations, the stop hunts? Yeah, this is the stop hunt area, all right? If we had the stop hunts available to determine what part of the cycle is the market maker in, is he trying to do a stop hunt rise, continuation to the downside? This is a game changer, you know? And it's only for my patrons and for the members. Fuck with that. <laughs> Look, guys. Yes, you know what? Granted, this is a paid thing, okay? But go open a business. You're going to pay council tax. You're going to pay rates. You're going to pay costs, insurance, you know? I'm going to get try and get a discount for you guys. A very good discount on this. Okay, I haven't pushed this. I've not told anyone about it. I've only discussed it when someone's asked about it. But you can actually see the power of this. For example, look at this. Euro JPY, all right? 4PFL. When that was 4PFL, it was, when it first printed, it appeared as a 1. But it appears as a 1 after one day from that zone. So one day it was... 1 PFL, all right? So if you were to trade and go long on the basis that that was the peak formation, you would have earned this move as a swing trade. You know? You would have earned that as a swing trade. You know? This is something, you know what guys, listen. This is something I didn't want to push out to anyone because this is the problem. You know, people are like, are you pushing affiliate links? I'm telling you now, this shit makes money. All right? This shit makes money. My uncle, he knows Steve Murray. All right? He knows him. He's on Skype to him all the fucking time. All right? He has conversations with him. 
every day, not every day, but near enough all the time, all right? So you could say we've got a super edge in this game and that's why I'm bringing it to you guys, all right? I'm gonna do a video for you guys, okay? I'm gonna do a video because you need to see the PFLs, the one FLs, one PFLs, two PFLs, you need to understand it, you know? Don't, you can go to the website. Let me do it again for you. There's the link. You can go to the website and have a look. Do not purchase it. Do not purchase it yet. Okay, I need to explain it to you. Granted, there are videos on there that you can look at. Okay. And there are other things on there because my uncle, he, you know, he's created all of this stuff himself. All right. But do not purchase anything until I've had a conversation with my uncle and I explain to him exactly what's going on. Okay. I know I've outdone myself, man. I know. Guys, look, look, this is what I'm saying. This, this, this shit changes. Now, I use this. But you always have to consider the cycle because there are instances, right, where you'll see a PFL happening, PF, um, a peak formation low happening here, and then it drops down. Based on this line of code that my uncle created, he right, he back tested this, and it had a 78% confirmation. It was right 78% of the time when it called the peak formation. So when it printed one PFL. All right, 78% of the time it was going to continue price up. So look, Euro Z Euro Euro Kiwi, all right? There it is. One day away from the peak formation. But what do you see? A W formation. This dashboard effectively makes life so much easier for you. Rise retrace, okay? It finds the pattern. All right. Yes, do not jump into it. Let me explain it to you. All right. And then you be the judge. You judge on that basis. All right. We will have another Forex seminar and you guys, you know, base it on that. Okay. But look, one peak formation low. So that's the W. That's telling me that as long as price is above the peak formation, you're only looking for longs. But look what happens. Rise. Level one, rise, level two. We're waiting for a consolidation. Where are we in line with the ADR? Well, it's only 1.2, sorry, real-time ADR is 1.02 ADR. So that means it's only achieved one times ADR. It's only moved 142 pips away. So where are we? From the peak formation, there you go. Guys, the, is that not sickening? From the low of that peak formation at the start of that session there, 146 pips its adr is 142 it's achieved one cycle therefore the adr right here is 1.02 okay do you understand that right so what are we expecting we're expecting three times adr so when it goes to three times adr that will be three then when it hits three we know it's time to leave for example look at um here we go look at dollar yen yeah, dollar yen is 6.56 times its ADR. It is ready to fucking drop. All right. It is ready to drop. And what are we seeing right here? A peak formation. Dollar yen has been so extended away from its peak. Look, look, that was that is 13 point 13 days from its peak formation. If you entered on the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, you would have been able to ride all the way up here, man. That is frightening. You know? And I'm not a swing trader. Could you imagine if I was a swing trader? I just don't like the idea of just leaving my fucking money on the line like that. I can make effectively, if that move there is, how many pips is that? Just from the first day from the peak formation. That is a 365 pip move. Granted, even if I went in light, I'll probably make it at, what, 10, 25 pounds per pip. So 365 times 25, do the math, you know? 
What would stop me from shorting that drop? Nothing. Nothing would stop me. I'm going to short this drop. Look at my zones. I've got them ready. I've got my zones ready where I'm expecting Dolly Yen to go. We are actually six, 13 days away. We've achieved the ADR times three. Twice. It's moved 400 pips. It needs to see it. Market makers need to see a return for their money. I am waiting for the short. I am getting ready to set it. Believe me. So, do I have your attention? <laughs> you know, this is why it's Forex, guys. This is why I trade Forex, man. Okay, because Forex is a legacy. There's history behind it. There's no bullshit. Cryptocurrency, granted, it is a very lucrative market. But you've got to pay to play in crypto, man. You've got to pay to play in crypto. I know PC Shed, honestly. My uncle has spent a lot of time doing this, you know, because he's been trading for nearly nearly 18 years, all right? And, you know, I he introduced me to the concept of Steve Myers' market maker method. I introduced to him the idea of PVSRA. We've merged them together. And then he created this dashboard. And I've literally got okay my edge in this game is i'm sorry with all this information my edge is flawless i wanted to master the cycle and the peak formation why because i didn't want to rely on this remember this right here can make you lazy but what i use this for is to confirm that i'm right with my peak formation so for example this pattern up here when this pattern plays out that's going to turn to zero and it's going to be peak formation high. I know I've done it. I'm challenging this robot here, this dashboard. I'm challenging it because I want to try and get the formation done before this tells me it. Okay. When it says none, okay, it means that it's waiting for a formation. I'm going to do the video later on. Don't worry. I'm going to do the video later on. You know? <laughs> Mark, <laughs> Dolly and proposed and I said yes. <laughs> I've been cheating on Dolly Yen, man. She's not happy with me. All right. She is not happy with me. I've been chilling with Ethereum. Happy days. M5 projection hit. <laughs> M5 projection hit. See you later, guys. <laughs> God, you know what, guys? It's not like I'm saying to you, here you go, you need to pay me five grand to learn this kind of shit. Nah. You know? It ain't happening. I'm telling you now, this is all for free. There are going to be tools that you have to pay for. All right? I can't make it all completely free. But I'll tell you what, the money that you're going to be paying for any tools that I provide to you guys, this is what I use in my repertoire. That is it. For Forex, I just use this motherfucker right here. All right? I don't use anything else. I come to the screen, I look at my dashboard, where's my peak formation, where are we, bang. I place my trades on that basis, okay? If I want to trade the 15-minute time frame, I look at this. If I look at the one-minute time frame, I switch this off because the one-minute time frame is too long. It's too much of a small time frame to consider any information from this. It's no good, okay? This isn't ideal on the one-minute time frame. Neither is it ideal on the five-minute time frame. It's all based on the 15-minute time frame. It's really for day traders as such, you know? So, yeah, it's not the holy grail, you know, because sometimes it's wrong. Remember, I'm not a one. I'm not a one hundred percent trader. That's PC shed, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna get this guys to a stage where, you know, if I can say I've helped so many people learn something it's gonna break the fucking system that's why i ain't revealing myself yes forex is easier than crypto because it's more regulated the only person that can really manipulate forex was trump and that was with the relationship that he had with china biden ain't gonna say shit about the forex market 
he ain't gonna say nothing you know the adr for drops no consider it's where it travels remember from one from the start of the day to the end of the day ask yourself what what was its cycle what was its high what was don't consider its low as well because if you do that you're going to have a massive adr all right if you take for example if you say right its average daily range is 66 pips so from the open all the way through to the close its average daily r a adr is 60 what look at that 61 pips from the one open to the next open it traveled 61 pips do you now see the power of this fucking adr it's frightening it's a system and they don't want no one to know about it they want you to focus on this bullshit look take the 50 day moving average and all of this fucking these these fibonacci's what else have they got let's have a look let's look have a look here um gan yeah probably gan he he his his concept is really good as well you know just draw your your i don't even know how to do it you know oh there you go don't even know how to use that indicator what else have we got um got a gan fan andrew's pitchfork that is pretty cool the andrew's pitchfork is really good you know three things there you go and you tried it look do, do you get what i'm saying now? yes you can have more than 66 pips yes but you know that the long the more if it's more than 66 pips you know it's going to be extended so you're expecting a reverse but do you understand right this is what i'm trying to get to you guys i'm trying to get you to realize that look this this whole situation right here where they use other indicators they don't want you to pay attention to key things right it's the key things that they don't want you to pay attention to and there are guys that do use the average daily range you know i don't think they use it in conjunction with this i don't know adr on my forehead you know <laughs> are you happy guys are you happy and i bet the people that are going to watch this video back and they're going to go fucking crazy are you happy Yes, on the drop, you focus on the drop to the 50, 50 EMA. Just focus on the drop to the 50 EMA. That's the nearest point, you know? And guys, if it is tiring for you, you're waking up early and what have you, you are now going to go to bed or go and get yourself a nap with this knowledge. I'm going to hook you guys up. Trust me. I'm going to sort it out for you. Okay? Wicked. Now, guys, don't trade weekends stay in this high don't trade the weekend there will always be a market there will always be a move they will always be there when you get rid of fear and greed as a human emotion that's when the market disappears till then chill the fuck down you know i got mad love for you guys. i got so much love for you guys, all the members and everyone that is, you know, the Patreons, anyone that is paying. You know, I never intended to, you know, I was, I never expected anyone to be, you know, donating or anything like that, you know, because there is a stigma on the internet, man. People are like, oh, click this link, click this fucking clickbait and all that bullshit. I've been very reluctant to do it. That's why any donations that I do get, get put back into the stream. PC Shed pretty much with your donations alone, you know, you're bringing so much joy to people with these trainers, with everything. You've helped contribute to this new laptop, this streaming setup. And, you know, I'm bringing Mike Dutch on board. You know, I'm going to be helping him as well. I'm going to be paying my guy, you know, because he's giving me his time. You know, I can't do this by myself. And if I was, you guys wouldn't have got the best setup, you know. So credit to my guy, Mike Dutch. You know, go show love to my guy. All right. He's going to be helping me out so much. We're going to take this channel. We're just going to help as many people as possible because it's about time that the little man won. You know, it's about time. All right, and guys. <clears throat> Look, pay yourselves. Remember, pay yourselves. Yeah, always pay yourselves. But then pay it forward always pay it forward it's the cycle you know everyone always pays forward god's blessing me with 
look at all the love that I'm getting. Two, three, five weeks ago, I just had my normal laptop. You know, I've got my trading set up. I keep that separate. I don't have nothing on there. It's only exclusively for my Forex, with my brokerage, with my, with my VPN, everything. It's a trading computer. No games, no nothing, all right? Now I've got this monstrous machine for the streaming, right? This is for you guys, not for me. This is for you guys, all right? So, let's get it, guys, all right? This is it. And guys, listen, we're going to be giving away non-stop. I've got people that want to give Rolex watches. I've got people that want to give cars. They want to advertise their business on this platform, and I'm all for that, okay? Give me something to give to my community. That's how it works, you know? If you've got a business, and you, I've got one guy who's a blacksmith, and he wants to create coins, right? I've told him, create the trader's reality coin, and he's going to see what he can do with it. And that's going to be a giveaway. He's going to give out these trader's reality coins, but it showcases this guy's work. That's what he wants. Rather than going and paying for ads, you know, where really you're not going to see really a true <coughs> engagement from it. Yeah, granted, Google will say, yeah, this is what you got. This is how many click through rate and all of that shit. But if someone comes to me and says, Tino, look, this is my business. I sell this. Okay, great. I want to give one to you and I want to give one to, you know, whoever. All right. So it's like a review kind of thing. Yeah, I'm going to say like, look, guys, I got this from so and so. His business is this. It is bloody awesome. And you guys would embrace it. You'd be like, yo, that is really cool. And he'll be watching that and he'll get the feedback from it. And, you know, it makes someone happy. Believe me, I've been in business before. And it's so important when you, you know, when you want someone to appreciate your work, you know, let the let your product sell itself kind of thing. But, you know, the effort that is involved in creating something to give to someone, you know, you're always concerned, you know, will they like it? Will they like it? Can they justify it? I mean, I'm trying to justify and look after all my patrons. You know, I'm, I'm panicking, man. I want to make sure that they get everything that they need from me. You know, the Patreon website says, you know, those who post at least twice a month, you know, have a higher engagement and higher loyalty from their patrons. I think I've posted like nine times already in the week, you know, and I'm probably going to spam the hell out of you guys with information continuously because that's what you're there for. All right. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end the stream right there, guys. Okay. I'm going to get everything sorted, sort this video out so that people can view it at a later point. All right. But I just want to say mad love to all of you. All right. Go and enjoy your weekend. Don't trade. Okay. Enough respect to all of you guys. All right. No worries. <laughs> Spam away. All right, my guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you later. Thank you.